Hey, good to see you all. Before we get started, Italy is getting a rework in the next DLC for Hoi 4, and as part of this rework, this adorable little guy, Albania, will become even more difficult to play. Italy is gonna have rights to your resources, it's gonna be terrible. But today, in honor of the future nerf to this already difficult country, we're going to play as Albania in its true form, a form that most people don't know exists the true pure Albania. So here we go. But also huge thanks to my patrons who help keep the channel going. If you see some weird generals today, that's because I edit my top patrons into one video every month as generals. But Albania, blessed land. I have played as Albania before today. Nothing really came of it. We're, we're not really strong here. Not at all. We have 13.8k manpower in the field, which 13,000 seems like a lot, but it's really not that much. These divisions are tiny and we only have three of them. We'll first do King of Albania Zog, first Skanderbag the third. The king is unshakable and indisputable. Very true fact-checked words. Also in this mod, Italy already has a resource rights over our oil, so that's very sad. We'll have to do something to get rid of that. We hate Mussolini. He is guaranteeing us though, so that is kind of good for now, but it won't be good if he tries to annex us. Also, can we all agree that this is the best portrait of King Zog? I give it a good 6 out of 10, an 11 out of 10. Now, oil workers have striked, uh, that's making our resource efficiency and production efficiency very low, but it's not like we have anything anyways besides these two military factories. We do at least have this branch here to start recovering from the crisis. So we'll do that while we wait for these other paths to open up. Oh, this is very wholesome. We can do these cool decisions as King Zog because the people love him. So we'll do some charity decisions. See, Albania in its true form is very wholesome too. Also, we have an economic crisis and distancing ourselves from Italy will make recovery more difficult, but I do not want to become an Italian puppet state or an Italian province. That's not how this game is going to end, hopefully. If it does end that way, it'll be with a battle between them and us and our divisions sitting on these forts. What I want to do is increase the powers of the king, engage in some pan-Albanian ambitions with King Zog at our helm. And I started doing this focus, but it's a bad idea. What we want to do is we want to support our own banking policy, so we won't be um, banking with Italy for much longer. And a lot of our focuses in this tree here remove days from the mission recovery from the crisis, which is the mission right here. So we want this recovery from the crisis to happen faster if possible. Okay, so the king's sister married the son of the Ottoman Sultan and now we get marriage decisions. Well, I guess we can only do that if Turkey becomes a monarchy. That's fun, but I don't think that'll be happening. And because of our dependence on Italy, we're having a hard time making political power, so these king's decisions are the best way for us to get political power, which is interesting. Usually you spend political power on decisions, but here we do decisions to get political power. I am going to cancel Italy's military access though, because I don't like them. And now we've had some improved living conditions, which is good, but now unfortunately we'll be increasing the time it takes to continue recovering because we'll be defending independence, but it's kind of necessary, and then we'll get our resources back. We also at last have one usable civilian factory, so we'll start construction with it. It'll take five years to build anything, but we'll get more soon. Also, there's a civil war in Greece. Greece might become a monarchy, which would make them aligned with us. I would send volunteers, but you need 10 divisions, and we're not allowed to. Now we're going to be paying our debts to Italy for a very long time. Very fun. So our economy is doomed forever now. That's exciting. So now what we'll do is we'll attract foreign investors and continue to fix the economic problems. We can do this focus here to make our debts to Italy national spirit not take as long. This national spirit here, 
already made the payment of debts less devastating, then we will continue to only do decisions that increase Zog's authority. For example, these to decrease his authority, but we want his authority to get very high. It's already high. And then we can do this national spirit and begin establishing King Zog absolutism. Okay, and it's King Zog's wedding. He is marrying a Hungarian countess. I would prefer if it was like the King of Spain or something. That would have probably been more important, but whatever. It's fine. We can't make Albania too overpowered. Okay. Birth of an heir. That's nice. That's very good. Now the dynasty will live on. The Greek Empire will also soon win, probably, which is a good thing because the other Greece is in the Axis and the Greek Empire is our ideology. So it would benefit us to have them win, but I'm probably just going to invade them anyways because they're very weak and I would rather own this territory myself than have an incompetent AI in control of it. We'll probably join Spain's faction later on, but with recovering from the civil war, they're unlikely to allow anybody into their faction, which is unfortunate. I was giving them some diplomatic pressure, but that's before they got that uh, national spirit. Okay, so Greece does have a slightly bigger army than we have, but they are very worn out. I think they've been fighting that civil war war for three or four years. Well, four years wouldn't make sense because that was before the game started, but they, they were fighting that for a while. I doubt they have any equipment. The US was land leasing them and now Yugoslavia is land leasing them, but hopefully we'll capitulate them before any of that land lease arrives. Axis Greece took this territory from Romania in the war between Germany and Poland, Romania, and Czechoslovakia. So then when the Greek Empire won the civil war that the Axis couldn't join, they got Axis Greece's territory in Romania. And now when we capitulate Greece, we will be able to get that territory in Romania. It's very complicated, but we all know that Albania is the rightful ruler of this land. Germany is fighting a two-front war again. They've learned nothing from the past. So here are the world's factions right now. I feel like France might fall, it looks like. The allies aren't involved in anything yet, but they almost certainly will be at war with the Axis at some point. I could make a faction with Russia if I wanted to, but I, I don't know if I want to get involved in all this just yet. Spain is the ideal country to join a faction with, but again, they have recovering from the Civil War, so yeah, we probably won't be able to join a faction with them anytime soon. Hmm, Georgia has an interesting leader, huh. Anyways, Italy, I think is justifying on us. That's at least what this says, so we'll see what happens here. Italy isn't doing so well, so hopefully they don't declare because we really can't defend ourselves while occupying Greece. Okay, so we completed a focus to get cores on a few Greek states down here. It'll just take a second to update, but now we have cores on three of them, so we'll have to occupy less territory, and we have a lot more manpower, enough manpower, that I should be able to mobilize a big enough army that we can finally go into Yugoslavia. And Italy didn't get a war goal on us, I assume because we were nice and paid their debts back, so maybe they kind of like us. But yeah, we should be able to recruit all these divisions and then we'll have an army that's still only half the size of Yugoslavia, but um, we'll get there soon enough. We're also going to go from volunteers only to colonial legions. That'll give us 10% extra manpower on non-core territory which will be very good for Greece and especially good for Yugoslavia. Though I might make a few puppet states, like maybe Croatia can be its puppet state, but I, I kind of am tempted to just occupy the whole thing if we can. Now we'll be using all of our political power to purchase artillery. For 100 political power, we can buy 200 units of artillery. We're also using most our military factories to make artillery because if we can use these pretty good divisions, we should be able to take out Yugoslavia. I might put a few more infantry in them though. Yeah, that'll that'll be good. We also have no railroads in Albania, so we'll build 
some railroads. That'll be helpful. So Lithuania was in Germany's faction and Poland was a German protectorate. But then Poland joined Lithuania to form the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, which then formed Greater Lithuania. Now Lithuania has cores on all of Poland and Belarus and Ukraine and they, they have a lot of cores. They alone are really changing the tide of this entire fight. Though we will probably join the allies to try to take Bulgaria and then give the rest of Romania back to our Romanian puppet state. Okay, so the battle has at last started for Yugoslavia. We'll be on the defensive here for a while, but it's best to start this sooner and let them attack into us and wear themselves down. And then we can, while we're at war with them, build up and become stronger and then eventually be able to take them out. What I really want to do early on though is just take this supply hub and this supply hub and then I'll be happy. And great, Yugoslavia joined the Axis. So that means we kind of have to join the allies now. It's kind of inevitable, honestly, but oh well. Actually doing this made Yugoslavia remove all of its divisions. So maybe that this is a good thing that they joined the Axis because it made them incompetent. They had like 10 divisions per tile and now they have two to three. <laughs> Probably moved them all to Russia. And now we can form a greater Albania. We, we've, we've held a bit more than just Albania for a while, but now we get a new color. I'm sure Azog is very happy. Also, once we capitulate Yugoslavia, I made a 30% collaboration government on them. So we will be able to get a lot of compliance for free and they should capitulate pretty soon here. Also, everybody clicked done in this peace deal with the Indochina Union. So I guess we get to take it, but we have to click this button, I think 700 times. I don't know if I want to click this button 700 times. That's a lot. It's kind of stupid. I guess it would be better to just puppet them. Well, that would only be in one state. <laughs> this is an actual nightmare. It's kind of nice that they're giving this to us, but this is not the way to do it. At least I think now that we puppet them, it'll cost less to take the other states. So we only have to click this like 50 more times, maybe. Now we have Albanian Indochina. See, they were all very smart. They realized that all of them were at war with Japan, but we're not at war with Japan. So now Indochina is safe, except this one tile that Bulgaria owns because Bulgaria is at war with us. Yeah, I really uh, didn't think we'd be invading Lithuania today, but that's kind of what's happening here. We pushed through Romania, took what we could, Turkey and the UK were a little annoying and wanted some stuff, but overall Romania is put back together. Lithuania doesn't seem to have many spare divisions to stop us here, but with Hungary in the south, we can't really push too far without making some gains here. There's a small little bit of Yugoslavia that still exists where they're stacking divisions and causing us some problems. We can't push them out of here. I don't know why there's so many divisions in this tile. I don't know what our allies are doing. The Netherlands has changed sides in this war, I think four times now. They originally were a democracy that sided with Germany. The UK capitulated them and they became a democratic UK puppet. Then Germany went back in and they became a German puppet. Then Russia naval invaded them. They became a monarchist Russian puppet. And now they're back with Germany again. It's kind of crazy. So Germany has no divisions defending the North, which is funny. And Hungary has changed sides and is now a puppet of us led by Otto. That's good. <laughs> That's a nice development. Anyways, it's finally over. We have Hungary as a puppet state and they control all of Austria-Hungary. Somehow Romania switched from being our puppet to Germany puppet. I don't know why that happened, but I don't know. And then we have the Indo-Chinese Empire as a puppet, and we're in a faction with Spain now instead of the Allies. If I were to continue, I would have been annexing Romania so we could form the Balkans, but now we would have to go to war with the Allies to get Romania back. So I don't know about that. Anyways, bye.